what up everyone? I know I've been it's been a while since I've made a new video. You guys are probably wondering, like, where did he go? Where's he been? Camera autofocus, thank you. Um Kind of like in a rut uh, regarding content creation. The little COPPA thing. You have um just me not knowing what to do as far as video creation. And it's never really been about the numbers for me, but like I feel like I'm losing motivation because I put all this effort into my videos and I see like little results so it's kind of hard and I, I do love and doing it but like I don't know I'm in a weird spot right now same thing with streaming uh, on Twitch I don't know if it's just because I can't find a main game or what I mean I really don't I don't know if it's because I stream variety too much maybe it's the kind of games I'm playing a lot of the games I do want to play I don't because they're just so popular it's like What's the point of even streaming it? So I just play it offline. Um, and that's really where I'm at. Uh, I do want to do more first looks again, eventually. Uh, and just play what I want to play. Problem is, I don't know if it's really going to be wanna, want to be seen on YouTube right now. And I'd like feedback on that. So if you could tweet at me, um, twitter.com slash fstein underscore gaming. I'll leave a link in the description. Or, you know, DM me. Um, same thing with Twitch, if you see me streaming, stop by and say like, hey, this game is great that you're playing, but like, I'd like to see this, or maybe I'll put a poll up on Twitter you guys can vote on, or a straw poll or something. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's hard to figure out exactly where I want to go with my channel, like, if I want to keep doing all of that, or just focus on streaming, or just stop completely, I don't know. I hope... My videos are awesome and entertaining for you guys. Uh, I know the budget quality is pretty low on them. I'm just, apparently I'm just not that great of an editor. I'm trying to get better. It's just, it's like a lot of work, especially when you have a full-time job and you know, I'm engaged and all of this stuff. I'm not trying, I guess it sounds like I'm trying to make excuses of it. I'm not, it's just, I don't know. I'm a little discouraged, honestly speaking. Uh, I figured, figured I might as well just be 100% honest with you guys there. I don't know, maybe I should try setting a different format up, or like where I'm, like where I'm standing instead. Uh, or, I don't know, putting in more pop-ins in the screen, or showing this, showing that. I guess it all is a matter of opinion. Uh, I thought about maybe doing, you know, like, upcoming game list, or these games I think you should play, or reviews, but I know a lot of people do that, so it's kind of hard. I mean... The Black Friday sales going on in the eShop right now are pretty sweet, so I might check those out and make a video about it, or, um, I don't know, I'll just show gameplay of them, basically. Like, right now, I'm looking at a few different games, so maybe I'll tell you that just quick. So, there's a ton of different games that are on the eShop right now that are on sale because of Black Friday. I think it's still December 4th the sale happens. Um... Not all of the games I want are on sale, and it's definitely not as big of a list as I wanted it to be. But we have this here, Gris, or Gris, or however you want to say it. Half off, $8.49. Looks amazing. I heard the music is great. I heard the art style is sweet. I mean, it looks cool, right? Um, as you can see here. Looks all hand-drawn. Basically... It's a, it's a hope. It's about a hopeful young girl lost in her own world, dealing with a painful experience in her life. And you basically, uh, it seems like a platform where you kind of journey through her story, and it has some emotion built into it. Three point nine gigs. Um, released about a year ago. Sorry, some of it was cut off. I don't know. It's been on my list for a bit, so I want that. Hello, War is Gunslinger. I do want. It hasn't come out yet. Pre-purchase. But the game looks pretty cool. Looks all right for. The switch as you can see here i like westerns so why not uh same with immortal planet this game looks awesome i'm definitely interested in that i like the uh top down art style and you know the way the colors look in this game look pretty cool i can't tell exactly how the playing is gonna be maybe it tells me here uh okay so we have Explore the crumbling remains of a society of immortals trapped in endless cycles of rebirth. And what it seems like is there's Souls-like progression where you die and you get to upgrade your character and you go back and forth. So it sounds like a roguelike. 
Um, this is pre-purchased until 12.12, so, you know, I have time for that. Devil Engine is a shoot 'em up The Stretchers is, uh, like a co-op game that came out recently where you're helping the save people. Um, the Tourist I've been wanting to get for so long, just because of how the art style looks. Like, it, it looks really nice. Um, I've heard good things about it, but it's not on sale, so I have to wait, I think. Fishing Star World Tour looks great. Uh, looks like a fun kind of game to like pass the time. Kind of gives me a Hot Shots Golf vibe, but it's fishing. Um, if any of you ever played that, I'm definitely excited to see, you know, this game. It's on sale for 40% off, so not bad. Black Future 88. Man, this game looks pretty sweet as well. It's not on sale, but I might have to buy it just to get it. It's a roguelike where you only have 18 minutes to get to the top, I believe, and it's cyberpunk themed and I really like cyberpunk so we might have to grab that even though it's $20 you got ukulele everyone knows that game impossible lair sparklight which came out children of morta dormon still hasn't gone on sale deli premonition still hasn't on sale want all of those river city girls I really want I put a picture up on Twitter basically of all the games that I want on this wish list and their prices and ask people to recommend them to me so people want for the ones that are on sale. However, River City Girls were requested in almost every single person's tweet, and it's not on sale, so it has to be a good game. I definitely am interested in it. Grandia HD Collection is Grandia 1 and 2, and it has a lot of content. 30% off, not bad, because it's $40 usually. Contra Anniversary Collection for $9.99 has like 8 Contra games in it, also cool. Jake Down Hawaii, I heard, is pretty good. Um, It kind of plays like an older school GTA, if you will. And, you know, you kind of cause havoc. You got Phoenix Wright to cap, cap it off at 33% off. Uh, I don't know if we need a bigger sale on this game or not, but it's the trilogy. I played the first one on DS. I never got to play the other ones. But, I mean, based on the gameplay I played in the first one, they're a lot of fun. You know, you're looking for clues. You're helping to solve cases as Phoenix Wright, the Ace Attorney. So, yeah. As far as the sale goes, those are the ones I'm most hyped about and interested in. Um, then if you look over here, there's also under great deals, like over 800 something games on sale right now. Just crazy. So let me know what you guys think uh, and let me know what you're into and looking to pick up on this Black Friday and holiday season. Yeah, once again, I am a little discouraged. Let me know if you want to see me do any types of different content creation or just in general, change some stuff up. Again, as always, the music is by Noteblock. Great person, go check him out. I'll leave the description below. Uh, Twitter is fstein underscore gaming and Twitch is frankenstein underscore gaming. Leave all these links below, obviously. Don't forget to follow my podcast on anchor.fm slash respawnrx. I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully, if, if we get around to making it soon and I'm not feeling like this. Catch my streams, though. My streams are a lot easier, in my opinion. I just kind of click the button and go, and people come in, they come in. So, yeah. Um, that's really it, guys. See you guys in the next one. Later.